Just couldn't get a job. Just kind of like, why do I bother? Why do I bother? Why do I bother? Why do I bother? Look for my hand. split up I was about 15 and I took it like really bad ended up becoming like a really angry person and just lashing out at everybody and in the end I got kicked out I can't, I moved to my dad's and then he kind of got bored bored with me so I moved back to my mum's still really angry person ended up getting kicked back out of my mum's moved in with my aunt Stayed there for a bit and then kind of ended up moving around to all these different places and then didn't, all of a sudden I had nowhere to go. So I was spending a lot of time sleeping out. I was about 20 years old. I got sent here against my will by uh, a job centre training course called A3. It was basically because I'd been unemployed for so long. They sent you out on these voluntary placements. So they came up to me one day and said, you're going to this place called Mustard Tree? And I'm like, no, I'm not. They're like, yes, you are, because we're going to take your benefits. I'm like, yes, I am. <laughs> What's Mustard Tree? Where, where is it? And just ended up coming here. Because I've never really had much positive influence in my life. You know, I grew up on a really rubbish council estate. So, you know, I used to be in a gang and stuff like that. So my whole life was just filled with negative people around me, negative influences. And just to come somewhere and actually see positive people, you know, it was just, it was really weird. It took me a bit of time to get used to. It was like the best environment for me to be in at that time. I'd always wanted to work but I was just not getting any work because I didn't have the qualifications. So it was kind of at the crossroads where, you know, it was either I get a job or I'm going to go and do what my friends are doing, you know, selling drugs and doing armed robberies and things like that. So luckily, Mustard Tree had a bit of faith in me and I just kind of went from strength to strength. Empty, empty eyes count me. background, race, religion can come and actually be accepted. I probably have better relationships in Mustard Tree than I do outside of Mustard Tree. So it's definitely a family environment. I guess for me, Mustard Tree helped me see something in myself that I didn't, that other people couldn't see, and what certainly I couldn't see. I mean, they had a, so much confidence in me, they still do. You know, my role was very basic when I first came here, but I've kind of branched it out, and like my role just covers so many different things now as well. And they've allowed me to have that responsibility. You know, and it's it's been up to me to make sure that I use it properly.
even when I look at myself now, how I talk to how I used to talk when I was in the gang and, you know, what I do at a weekend compared to what I used to do at a weekend. Everything's changed. It's just like, people see me now and it's just like, they don't, like, you're not Mark Devlin, you don't. That's not you, that's not how I remember you. But I'm just like, you know, that was a long time ago. And so many different things have changed. You know, I wouldn't be where I am now if it wasn't for Mustard Tree.